Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. So right now we are doing the problems on financial accounting two. In this subject, the topic going on is accounts from incomplete records or single entry system. In this uh, chapter, already I have given the video regarding the theory of what is accounts from incomplete records, single entry system. So before doing the problems, every student who wants to get the complete grasp on this topic must watch the first video introduction. Then only you can be able to know what is the meaning of this single entry system, what is the meaning of accounts from incomplete records, how the profit will be ascertained in such organizations which follow single entry system. So after that I have completed 12 short problems in the previous videos and 4 main problems on this single entry system. So if you have watched all those videos definitely you are in a position to understand the single entry now. If you have not watched the earlier videos I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject financial accounting 2. In that you will find the videos of accounts from incomplete records. Watch the first video then starting 2-3 videos regarding the short problems you will get a complete grasp then you can follow this problem. In this video I am going to start with problem number 5. Already 4 problems have completed till the previous video. So before starting the 5th problem I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So go to the description, last line you will find the link, take a printout and keep it ready before start watching this problem. Now, fifth problem I am reading out. Hari keeps his books on single entry method. So you are required to ascertain profit or loss made by him in the year 2015 for the, from the following. So actually accounts from incomplete records, it is not the accounting system. This system does not follow the double entry accounting system. In double entry, every debit there is a corresponding credit, systematic accounts are maintained, proper ledger, proper journal will be maintained. In that case, we can be able to prepare the trial balance, final accounts, everything we can prepare in double entry. If double entry system is not followed, then it is called single entry where accounts are incomplete. It's a defective system. Only petty small business houses they will maintain this single entry system. They will maintain a cash book and personal accounts. They will not maintain the real account and nominal account. That's why no trading profit and loss account, no balance sheet can be prepared in the case of single entry system. Then how the profit can be ascertained by comparing the capital in the beginning of the year with the capital at the end of the year. We find out the profit. So here in our problem, 2015 is our current year. So 1st January 2015 is the beginning and 31st December 2015 is the end. So we are given the assets and liabilities at the beginning and at the end. Stock in trade, beginning of the year 8500, end of the year 6700. Sundry creditors, beginning 4000, end 5400. Sundry debtors, 4500, beginning 4200, ending. Cash in hand, beginning 150, end of the year 200. Bank overdraft, 5000, beginning, end of the year 3020. So stock is an asset. Sundry creditor is a liability. Sundry data, asset. Cash in hand, asset. Bank overdraft is a liability. Then bills receivable is an asset. Beginning of the year 2000, end of the year 15, no, 1050. Then fixtures and fitting, asset, beginning of the year 1500, end of the year 1500. Motor van, asset, beginning 4000, end 4000. Plant, asset, beginning 10,000, uh, end of the year 10,000. So we are given the assets and liabilities at the beginning and at the end. So balance sheet will not be prepared by those organizations which follow single entry system. So in place of balance sheet, a statement is prepared called statement of affairs. The difference between balance sheet and statement of affairs is the balance sheet is prepared to find out the financial position of the business. So balance sheet will be prepared by those organizations which apply double entry system. But statement of affairs is prepared to find out the closing capital, to find out the capital, to find out the 
capital how to find out capital take the total of assets minus total of liabilities so assets minus liabilities will get the capital to find out capital we make statement of affairs and statement of affairs will be made by those organizations which apply single entry system now total drawings during the year amounted to 3600 drawings means amount withdrawn for personal use by the owner then during the year he has introduced to further capital of 3000 depreciate fixtures at 10 percent plant at 20 percent motor van rupees 500 as regards sundry retards it is ascertained that 500 rupees was irrecoverable irrecoverable means bad debts and five percent are doubtful there was a need for reserving rupees 500 in respect of bills receivable the bills receivable are also doubtful to the extent of 500 rupees then uh, also prepare the final statement of affairs see in this problem we have to make the statement of affairs final and also we have to ascertain the profit made during the year first of all when single entry method is followed we cannot prepare the trading profit and loss account and we cannot make the balance sheet then what is the method of ascertaining the profit we need the capital in the beginning and capital at the end so how to find out capital by preparing statement of affairs it is just like a balance sheet we will have all assets on right hand side liabilities on left hand side so assets minus liabilities will get the capital so we find the capital in the beginning on 1st january we find the capital at the end 31st december so after finding out the capital the next thing is we'll make a statement of profit or loss made during the year so how to find out the profit made during the year take the capital at the end at the end of the year what is the capital take the capital to this you add the drawings deduct further capital introduced we will get adjusted capital from that adjusted capital then deduct the capital in the beginning we will get profit before adjustment now we will make all adjustment regarding depreciation bad debts provision for bad debts all adjustment will make the adjustment then we'll get the profit or loss that's it so here it's a very simple problem uh, fifth problem statement of affairs as on 1st january 2015 beginning of the year just now i told you while reading the problem which are the assets and which are the liabilities the assets are cash in hand stock debtors bills receivable fixtures van plant all these are the assets and these are the values given in the problem on 1st january and uh, what are the liabilities uh, bank code of sundry creditors only two liabilities are there. take the total of the assets 30,650 is the total of the assets from 30,650 deduct minus 5,000 minus 4,000 so 21,650 is the balancing figure capital capital is not given in the problem by making this statement we come to know there is a capital in the beginning 21,650 that's all so opening capital we got it similarly we have to find out the closing capital same statement of affairs at the end of the year 31st December 2015 take all the assets cash in hand stock debtors bills receivable van fixtures plant all these things are given in the problem all the values are given in the problem 31st December two liabilities are there creditors and bank code draft Take the total on the asset side 27,650. 27,650 minus 5,400 minus 3,200. Balancing figure is 19,050. This is the capital at the end of the year. So, first thing we have prepared the statement of affairs beginning, statement of affairs at the end. This statement of affairs at the end is without adjustment. Without making adjustment, this is the statement of affairs. Now, we'll make a statement of profit or loss profit or loss the so statement of profit or loss for the year 2015 now first we begin with the capital at the end how much is the capital at the end of the year 19,050 take 19,050 to this you add the drawings made during the year in the problem it is given drawings made during the year 3600 to so add up 3600 you will get 22,650 from this we deduct further capital introduced by the owner if the owner has further capital introduced during the year that will be deducted so deduct 3000 
तो एडजस्टेड कैपिटल एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर इज 19650 दिस इज द एडजस्टेड कैपिटल एट द एंड तो अगेन आई रिपीट कैपिटल एट द एंड ऑफ द ईयर ऐड ड्रॉइंग्स माइनस फर्दर कैपिटल इंट्रोड्यूस्ड विल गेट एडजस्टेड कैपिटल फ्रॉम दिस डिडक्ट द कैपिटल इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर हाउ मच इज द कैपिटल इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर 21650 डिडक्ट 21650 19650 minus 21650 you are getting 2000 loss because negative 19650 minus 21650 you are getting minus 2000 so minus 2000 means loss positive profit negative loss the so loss during the year before adjustments we have not adjusted before adjustment itself we got the loss now what are the adjustments depreciation on fixtures it is given in the problem fixtures the depreciate fixtures at 10% the value of the fixture is 1500 10% of 1500 is 150 this is the 150 depreciation depreciation on plant it is given depreciate plant at 20% the plant value is 10000 20% of 10000 2000 so depreciation on plant 2000 depreciation on van 500 rupees directly given in the problem so depreciation on van 5 bad debts are given in the problem it is ascertained that 500 rupees are irrecoverable irrecoverable means bad debts bad debts are fine it is asking you to make a provision of 5% for doubtful debts 5% for doubtful debts on debtors so here you concentrate provision for doubtful debts on debtors so how much are the debtors at the end of the year in the bad problem in the problem debtors at the end of the year is given 4200 Four thousand two hundred is the debtors at the end of the year. From that, deduct the bad debts. How much are the irrecoverable debts? Five hundred. So four thousand two hundred minus five hundred will get the good debts. How much are the good debts? Three thousand seven hundred. On three thousand seven hundred, create the provision for doubtful debts five percent. So three thousand seven hundred into five percent, one eighty five is the provision for doubtful debts. Similarly, reserve on bills receivable. It is last item. It is asking you in the problem reserve for doubtful debts on bills receivable. The bills receivable per reserve five hundred rupees directly given in the problem. These are all the adjustment. Add up all the adjustment three thousand eight fifty three. Actually, this adjustment should be deducted from profit. We don't have the profit. We have loss here minus two thousand here minus three thousand eight thirty five. So minus two thousand minus three thousand eight thirty five, you will get minus five thousand eight thirty five. Minus five thousand eight thirty five. This is the net loss during the year after adjustment. Finally, after adjustment, the loss comes to five thousand eight thirty five. That's it. Now it is asking you to make the statement of affairs after adjustment at the end of the year. Already we have prepared the statement of affairs at the end of the year, but this is before adjustment. This is before adjustment. Now we have to make the statement of affairs after adjustment. Here it is. So first of all, creditors. Whatever creditors are given, no adjustment. Five thousand four hundred, same five thousand four hundred. Bank order of three thousand two hundred, no adjustment. Same five five three thousand two hundred. These two items are same. Now capital. Capital at the beginning of the year was twenty one thousand six fifty. The beginning of the year capital twenty one thousand six fifty. To this further capital introduced, how much is the further capital introduced during the year three thousand? Given in the problem, so add up three thousand twenty four six fifty. From this, deduct the drawings. Drawings are three thousand six hundred minus so twenty one thousand fifty. Then less net loss during the year. We got the net loss here. <coughs> Five thousand eight thirty-five is the net loss. If there is net profit, we would have added, but there is no net profit. There is net loss. So deduct net loss during the year minus five eight three five. So twenty-one thousand fifty minus five eight three five. You get fifteen thousand two fifteen. This is the capital at the end of the year, right? Now asset side. Cash two hundred rupees directly given in the problem. Stock six thousand seven hundred given in the problem at the end of the year. Debtors. In the problem, debtors at the end of the year are four thousand two hundred. Now we have to make the adjustment from debtors. Deduct the bad debts. Bad debts are five hundred, and provision for doubtful debts is one eighty five. So bad debts and provision for doubtful debts should be deducted from debtors. 
तो 4,200 डेटास माइनस 500 बैड डेट्स 3,700 माइनस 185 प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स 3515 इज़ द डेटास देन बिल्स रिसीवेबल इन द प्रॉब्लम बिल्स रिसीवेबल आर गिवन 1,050 नाउ इन द एडजस्टमेंट रिजर्व फॉर बिल्स रिसीवेबल रिजर्व और डाउटफुल डेट्स ऑन बिल्स रिसीवेबल इज़ 500 रुपीस तो डिडक्ट 500 रुप Fixtures. Fixtures given in the problem is 1500, but depreciation 10%. 10% of 1500, 150. Deduct 150. 1350 is the value of fixtures. Then van. Van 4000 rupees given in the problem. Depreciation at the law, depreciation on van 500 rupees given in the problem. Directly given. Depreciate van by 500 rupees. 500 rupees deduct. Then plant 10,000. Depreciation at the rate of 20% given in the problem. So 20% of 10,000, 2,000, direct 8,000. Now take the total on the liability side, 23,815, asset side, 23,815, tally. That's all. So this is the problem number five. Come on, now we'll start the next problem. That is problem number six. See the sixth problem carefully. The following are the assets and liabilities of A at the end and beginning of the year 2008. So we are given the data regarding uh, the balance sheet. See carefully. So the following are the assets and liabilities of A at the end and beginning of the year 2008. 31st December 2008 and 1st January 2008. The 1st January is the opening, 31st December 2008 is the closing. Land and building, plant and machinery, furniture and fixtures, stock in trade, sundry, detours. These are the assets. Then sundry creditors, loan from bank, outstanding liabilities. These are the liabilities. Then cash at bank is the asset. So we are given the assets and liabilities at the beginning of the year, end of the year. During the year, A had withdrawn 5,000 rupees in cash and 3,000 rupees in goods from business. Drawings. When the owner withdraws the money or goods from the business for personal use, it is called drawings. So totally 8,000 rupees drawings. He had also introduced 80,000 rupees as additional capital. So during the year further capital he has brought 80,000. A machine costing rupees 20,000 had been sold during the year for 18,000. And a new machine costing 50,000 was purchased in replacement. So one machine was sold, another machine was purchased. So all these adjustments had already been done in machine account. So we simply we need what is the machine value at the beginning and what is the machine value at the end. So that is given in the problem. The machinery value at the beginning was 96,000. End of the year is 120,000. That's only we require. We don't require which how much is purchased, how much is sold. New furniture costing 2,500 was also purchased during the year. We don't require because we need the opening and closing. That's it. Prepare a statement of profit or loss for the year ended 31st December 2008. So simply it is asking you to prepare a statement showing how much profit earned or loss incurred during the year 2008. That's it. So very simple problem compared to the previous problems. Now statement of affairs on 1st January 2008, beginning of the year. So assets are given cash at bank, stock, debtors, furniture, machinery, building. All these are the assets, the values are given in the beginning of the year. Similarly, liabilities, three liabilities are given, creditors, bank loan, outstanding expenses. So three liabilities. Take the total on the asset side, 5,16,000. From 5,16,000, deduct minus 1,45, minus 120, minus 90. So balancing figure is the capital, 1,61,000. So by preparing statement of affairs at the beginning of the year, we got the capital at the beginning of the year 1,61,000. Similarly, we have to find out what is the capital at the end of the year, 31st December 2008. So all the assets are given, cash at bank, stock, debtors, furniture, machinery, building, all these are the assets, the values are given in the problem. Liabilities are outstanding liability, loan from bank, creditors, three outside liabilities are there. So deduct 5,91,000 total minus 80,000 minus 1 lakh minus 1 lakh 50,000. So capital balancing figure at the end of the year is 2 lakh 61,000. So by making opening statement of affairs and closing statement of affairs, we got opening capital and closing capital. That's all. 
Now we have to make a statement of affairs to find out the profit earned or loss incurred during the year. Now, this is a statement showing profit or loss made during the year 2008. <clears throat> Already so many problems you have seen the format. First of all, we take the capital at the end of the year. At the end of the year means 31st December, how much is the capital? 261,000. So capital at the end of the year, 261,000. To this, we have to add the drawings. Drawings include both cash as well as goods. So add up the drawings, 5,000 plus 3,000, 8,000 rupees drawings added. So 2 lakh 16, 9,000 minus further capital introduced during the year, 80,000. Deduct 80,000. Now adjusted capital at the end of the year, 1 lakh 89,000. From this adjusted capital at the end of the year, deduct the capital in the beginning of the year. How much is the beginning capital? 1 lakh 61,000. Deduct 1 lakh 61,000. Profit for the year 28,000. That's all. So what is the new point we have learned in this problem? That additions, purchase and sale of fixed assets should not be considered because we have taken the opening assets value and closing assets value. So all the purchase and sale are adjusted in the accounts of Vashravi and plant. That's it. So profit for the year is 28,000. That's it. Now come to the next problem. Problem number seven. Swami keeps his books on single entry system. His financial position 31st March 2004 and 31st March 2005. That means we are given at the beginning of the year, end of the year. Beginning of the year, last year's closing will become current year's opening. So last year was 2004, 31st March 2004. Our year begins from 1st April 2004. And year ends on 31st March 2005. So cash in hand is an asset. Bank overdraft is a liability. Stock in trade asset. Bills receivable asset. Bills payable liability. Then sundry debtors asset. Furniture asset. Motor van asset. Plant asset. So we are given assets and liabilities. So last year as well as current year. So we make the statement of affairs of last year, we make the statement of affairs of current year to, uh, to find out the opening capital and closing capital just like the previous part. Now total drawings during the year amounted to 7200 add drawings. He introduced further capital rupees 6000 during the year, deduct further capital. Depreciate all fixed assets at 10%. We have to make the adjustment depreciation should be provided at 10% at the end of the year ascertain the result of business result of business means whether the business has earned profit or incurred loss by preparing the required statements simply we have to find out what is a profit or loss during the year so we need the capital at the beginning capital at the end so we are making statement of affairs on 1 4 2004 at the beginning of the year and then statement of affairs as on 31st March 2005 end of the year so as usual all the assets cash stock bills receivable debtors furniture van plant all assets are taken at the beginning of the year the liabilities bank or drop bills payable only two liabilities are there so deduct take the total 87900 asset site minus 6400 minus 1800 79,700 is the capital at the beginning of the year. By making this statement, we come to know opening capital 79,700. Similarly, we have to make the statement of affairs at the end of the year, 31st March 2005. Take the assets, cash, stock, bills, receivable, debtors, furniture, van, plant, all the values I have taken. Now, outside liabilities, bank order of bills payable. Take the total of assets 1,15,300. Minus 10,000, minus 1,900, 1,3,400 is the capital at the end of the year. We got opening capital, we got closing capital. Now easily we can make the statement of affairs, statement of profit or loss. Statement of profit or loss earned during the year ending 31st March 2005. So first of all we will take the capital at the end of the year, 31st March 2005. What is the capital? 103,400. So 1034. To this we have to add the drawings. Last paragraph it is given the drawings made during the year 7200. Add up 1,10,600. 1,10,600 plus 
minus further capital introduced during the year 6000 deduct we we'll get 1,4600 this is called adjusted capital at the end of the year from this adjusted capital at the end of the year deduct deduct to the capital in the beginning of the year how much is the capital in the beginning of the year 79,700 deduct 79,700 24,900 is the profit before adjustments this is the profit before adjustments now what are the adjustment last line it is given in the problem that depreciation should be provided on fixed assets at 10 percent depreciation should be provided on fixed assets at 10 percent so what are the fixed assets here furniture van plant these three are called the fixed assets furniture van and plant so we have to provide depreciation less depreciation on furniture van plant see what is the value of the furniture 3000 3000 is the value of the furniture 10 percent of 3300 similarly what is the value of the van 8000 10 percent of 8800 got it now plant the value of the plant is 20000 10 percent of 20000 2000 so 2000 Take the total 300 plus 800 plus 2000, 3100 is the total depreciation on all fixed assets. Now deduct. So 24,900 minus 3100, 21,800. This is the net profit earned during the year after adjustments. That's all. So in this video, I have completed 5th, 6th and 7th. Three problems I have completed. Each and every point I have explained. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video. Share my channel in your group, in your friend circle, so that more students can watch these videos. Not only this subject, I have uploaded so many subjects relating to commerce, accounts, finance, etc. Visit the playlist. You will find so many subjects. So suggest to your group, suggest to your friends to watch these videos to enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed. We'll continue, inshallah, in the next video, the next problem.